Lisa. What are you going to do today? Hi, everyone. Can you guess what job I'm doing today? You're a dentist. <laughs> That's right. Today, I'll be checking people's teeth. <laughs> you have to be gentle when treating someone. Let's prepare for our first patient. Hi, Moo. Ready for your checkup? Well, uh, no. I mean, yes. How is Dr. Panda? Is he fine? Is he sick? Not feeling well, is he? Oh, well, I guess I'll have to cancel my checkup. I'll come back some other time. Dr. Panda's feeling quite all right, Moo. He'll be ready to see you shortly. Oh, that's great. We don't usually allow chickens at the dentist. She doesn't like to come to the dentist either, but it calms her when I stroke her head. Uh, take your seat. Dr. Panda will be with you shortly. Hi, Moo. Isn't the dentist fun? I've been brushing five times a day, front and back, top and bottom, and flossing after breakfast, lunch, and dinner, <laughs> and... Richie, time for your checkup. Yes! Oh! <laughs> Hi, Richie. Please take a seat. Whoa! Your chair's wobbly, Dr. Panda. I know, but it's nothing to worry about. Let's get started on your checkup. Open wide, please. Your teeth are sparkling clean, Richie. You've been brushing them well. So, do I get a happy smile badge? Please tell me I get a happy smile badge. Oh, you've earned it. I'll see you at your next checkup. Oh, yes! Hi, Richie. Whoa! Cool badge. Thanks. Hooper, you're next. I hope I get a badge too. You're right after Hooper, Moo. Oh, it's okay. Take as long as you like. No rush. <sighs> Ready for your checkup, Hooper. Let's just bring the chair down a little. <laughs> your chair has a bit of a wobble, Dr. Panda. Do you want me to fix it? <laughs> well, if you don't mind, that'd be great. It's a bit stuck! Let me push down harder on it! Oh, can you hear that? What is Dr. Panda doing to poor Hooper? Thank you so much for fixing my chair, Hoopa. No problem! Open wide, please. Great. Ah, your teeth are in great shape, Hoopa. Thanks, Dr. Panda! Uh, so, do you have something for me? Here's your happy smile sticker, Hooper. Yes! Checkups are the best! Hooper, you made it! Are you okay? I'm better than okay, Moo. I'm great! Come on in, Moo. Hi, Moo. <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to bring one of your chickens along today. Are you sure it wouldn't be more comfortable in the waiting room? Oh, no! She's much more relaxed when she's close to me. Oh, that's fine. Come and sit in the chair, please. Oh, dear! She doesn't like going up and down. And she likes bright lights even less. Is that better? She certainly seems to be making herself at home. Oh, no! She doesn't like being at the dentist. No offence, Dr. Pander. It just makes her so nervous. Oh, I can feel her poor tail feathers trembling. Hmm. Are you sure it's not you who's really nervous, Moo? Me? Ha! No, of course not! No! Well, yes. Oh. oh, I'm sorry, Dr. Pander. I just get so worried about going to the dentist. I feel so silly. It's okay, Moo. There's no need to feel silly. Why don't we put your chicken down, huh? Now, I'm just going to have a look at your teeth, that's all. Open wide, please. Shoo! <laughs> Let Dr. Panda do his work. 
So let's see. Huh, what? Oh! Shoo! Shoo! <laughs> no! That's enough! <laughs> I'm so sorry about my chicken. Ah, uh, no worries, Moo. I think your chicken's just a little bored. <laughs> an idea. Why don't we give her a checkup first? Open wide, please. Let's take a look. Ah, yes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Looking very good. Well done. So, that's it? All done? Yes. You see, there's nothing to worry about. Are you ready for your checkup now, Moo? Yeah, I think so. Yes. Let's do it. Uh, great. You see, having a checkup isn't so bad. Uh, 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 what was that? Moo says she loves coming to the dentist now. That's right. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Panda. Oh. <laughs> See you at your next checkup. Um, Dr. Panda, you do know that chickens don't even have teeth. <laughs> That's true, Olette. But the chicken's checkup helped soothe Moo's nerves, didn't it? You gave me that idea with your toy shark, Toto. <laughs> <laughs> Toto, Doctor. Oh, you want to be an animal doctor now. <laughs> well, that's an adventure for another day. See you guys next time. Goodbye, Dr. Panda. <laughs> bye bye Hi, Dr. Panda. What are you going to do today? Hi, everyone. Today, I'm a weather reporter. We work out what the weather is going to be like, and then we tell everyone about it. Hey, where's Toto? Toto is spending the afternoon at the farm with Moo. Oh, okay. It's time to go on TV, Dr. Panda. Are you ready? Yep. All set. In three, two. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's weather report. Today, it'll be very warm. Ah, I guess I won't need to wear a jacket for my workout later. It will also be very calm with no wind at all. <laughs> Perfect weather for skateboarding. And finally, our weather equipment tells us there will be no rain. Great! That means I can work on my roof today. And that's the weather report for today. See you tonight for tomorrow's weather. <gasps> you did great, Dr. Panda. Well, with our special weather equipment, how could we go wrong? Something's up with our special weather equipment. Come on. Uh -oh. Let's check the thermometer first. It tells us how warm or cold it is. Oh, May May, look at this. Oh, how cute. Oh, the mommy bird must have thought this was a good place to keep her eggs warm. But the nest is also keeping the thermometer warm. Looks like it's a lot colder than we thought. Oh, I thought Dr. Panda said it would be warm today. I'm freezing. <sighs> Something else is wrong. The wind meter isn't moving. Someone's kite has blown up here and got tangled up with it. Looks like it's quite windy today after all. <gasps> Dr. Panda was wrong! <gasps> hmm. This satellite dish should be moving around, searching the sky for rain clouds. I think it needs some oil. Dr. Panda, didn't you say there was 
wasn't going to be any rain today. That's right. Today, there will be no rain. Quick, get back inside. Finish my building work, so I need to know what the weather is going to be. No worries. Let me check. What? Ah! Oh, my laptop is broken. Mm. Rain and laptops don't mix. I need the laptop to tell me what our equipment is saying about the weather. Oh, I'm afraid I don't know what the weather is going to be, Hoopa. I guess. I'll just have to guess, I guess. I'm sorry, Hoopa. Oh. Dr. Panda! Dr. Panda! Hi, Toto! Hey, Moo! How did you know it was going to rain today? Our weather report said it was going to be dry. Well, Dr. Pander, I'm a farmer. I always know what the weather's gonna be. You do? What equipment do you use? A thermometer? A satellite dish? <gasps> Weather balloons? <laughs> Don't be silly. I can tell from what I see around me on the farm, like the color of the sky or how the chickens behave. Chickens know what the weather is going to be? Oh, you'd be surprised. <gasps> Moo, I think you'd make an excellent TV weather reporter. <gasps> I'll get the camera. In three, two, one. Good evening and welcome to the weather report. We are sorry to have gotten the weather wrong today, but... We have a special reporter with a better way of telling the weather. Over to you, Moo. Hmm? Uh, hello. <laughs> Let me see now. Uh, well, there was no fog this morning, and the bees have been out all day, so tomorrow it will be partly cloudy with a slight breeze. And the sky's red, so that means there'll be no rain tomorrow. Great! That's the perfect weather to finish my building work. But the chickens are huddling together to keep warm, so it will also be a bit chilly tomorrow. Don't forget to wear a jumper. I won't. Thank you, Moo, for your excellent weather reporting. It was my pleasure, Dr. Pander. I liked being on TV. Hey, maybe we could do a cooking program together. <laughs> well, that's an adventure for another day. See you next time, everyone. Goodbye, Dr. Panda. Bye-bye. Hi, Dr. Panda. What are you going to do today? Hi, everyone. Look, I'm in a hospital. Can you guess what job I'm doing today? You're a doctor. <laughs> that's right. And I've got a special patient to attend to. <laughs> Hey, Doc, can you take this thing off my leg already? I'm afraid not, Bip. This cast helps to fix your broken leg. Say, ah, uh, ah, uh, but I can hardly move with this thing on. <laughs> well, that's the idea. Ah, your temperature is fine. You need to stay in bed and move your leg as little as possible. Huh. For how much longer? A few more days. Wait, what? Days? Calm down, Bip. Your leg needs to rest so it can get better. Oh, oh that's right. This came for you. 
Hey, a get well soon card. Hope you're feeling better soon, Bip. I hope Dr. Panda fixes your leg quickly. Get well soon, Bip, so I can beat you at basketball. <sighs> Isn't it nice that everyone is thinking about you? I'll come and check on you later. Huh? Uh, Dr. Panda, wait! Uh, let's play checkers. Prepare to be beaten. Oh, I'm sorry, Bip, I can't. I've got watch to do. Why don't you rest a little, and I'll see you soon, okay? Oh. Hey, Bip, how are you doing? <laughs> Bip? Huh, wh Bip, where are you? Hmm. Toto, do you know where Bip's gone? Uh-uh. <laughs> oh. We need to get him back into bed. Hmm, maybe his friends know where he is. Hi, Dr. Panda. Hey, Hoopa, have you seen? I'm glad you called, Dr. Panda. I get this funny feeling in my back when I twist around. I'll take a look at it later, but right now I need to find Bip. No, oh, he's helping me clean the fire engine. You did a great job fixing his leg, Dr. Panda. Woohoo! Oh, there he is, behind you. There's <laughs> my back. Uh, Bip, stop! <sighs> Do you know where he might have gone? Uh, he was talking to May May just now. Ah, <sighs> thanks, Hoopa. Oh, and take a nice warm bath. That should help make your back feel better. Thanks, Dr. Panda. What do you think? Yeah, it's, it's not bad. Not bad? I've been working on these moves all week. Well, it just needs some bip magic. How about a spin? <laughs> it's an ambulance. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, Dr. Panda? Mimi! Is Bip here? Oh, well, he was. I guess he just ran off. Ah, <sighs> any idea where he went? He said something about a game of basketball. Oh, let! Thanks! <laughs> to the hospital. Okay. Ah, everything sounds fine. If you keep resting, your leg will be as good as new. W wait, where are you going? Oh, I have to... Uh, hmm. I think I know why you keep trying to get away. Are you missing your friends, Bip? Uh, I hate being on my own. It's so boring. <laughs> hey, thanks, Toto. I have an idea. If you can't go to see your friends, maybe your friends can come to see you. <laughs> and then there was the time I rescued a cat from a tree, but then I got stuck and had to be rescued myself! <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny! Thanks for inviting everyone, Dr. Panda. No problem. We've worked out a timetable. I'll be here tomorrow to beat you at basketball. Basketball? Miniature basketball. <laughs> That's so cool. 
and I'll be here the day after to show you my new dance routine. I've decided to put in a spin. I taught her that. <laughs> we'll all take turns to visit you, Bip, to make sure your time here isn't too boring. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Panda. You guys are awesome. I'm feeling better already. Wait until I beat you at Miniature Basketball. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> Hi, Toto. Are you playing with your friends, too? Nina, Nina. <laughs> oh, you want to ride in an ambulance, too, do you? Yes. Well, that's an adventure for another day. See you next time, everyone. Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Panda. Bye-bye. Bye. Hi, Dr. Panda. Panda. What, what are you, you going, going to do today? Hi, everyone. Well, I've got this camera, and I'm ready to take photographs. Can you guess what job I'm doing today? You're a photographer. That's right! <laughs> if anyone needs a photograph taken, I am ready. Yay! Hey, Toto. Whoa, where have you gone? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I see. You're on TV. <laughs> This'll be a great show. Oh! Hi, May May. Hi, Dr. Panda. I have a super fun job for you. Can you come over to Moose Farm? Sure. Uh, what are you doing there? I'm looking after Moose chickens. Oh, and bring your thingy with three legs. You mean my tripod. <laughs> oh, I gotta go. We have a surprise present to prepare. See you super soon. Hi, Mamie. What's the surprise? You know how Moo loves her chickens. Of course. Well, I want to give her a big, big photograph of them all. It'll be the best present ever. No problem. But we have to do it before she gets back from the market or it'll spoil the surprise. Okay, let's get started. Oh, wait. First, I have to make the background look just right. It all looks good to me, Maymay. Scarecrows are very on trend, but they can be a bit messy. Oh, I'll help with the flowers. There. They look great. Um, yeah. Why don't you let me take care of this and maybe you could, um, oh, move that hay bale out of the way, please? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, feather check! Your camera ready. Time for your photograph, chickens! Come on, let's round them up. We have to get them together. Moo will be back soon. This could be tricky. Missing. No worries. We'll find her. 
thought I was supposed to look after them. We can't lose one. Oh, <laughs> I think I know where it is. <laughs> no! Moose poster! Oh, no! It's completely ripped. No worries, May May. Maybe we can stick the missing piece back in place. That's impossible. Look. I could print out a new one. No, we don't have time. Moo will be back really soon. Meow. The surprise is ruined. Hmm. Oh, I've got an idea. What are you doing? Don't panic. We still have time to make this a great present for Moo. Yoo-hoo! I'm home. Pander. Hi, Moo. Was everything okay, May May? May May and I have a surprise for you. <gasps> My lovely chickens! Oh, what's that big hole? That's where you go, Moo. Put your head through and smile, please. Moo? <laughs> well, I never. Oh! Marvellous! I've never been in a photograph with my chickens before. The cheeky little darlings are always hiding from me. I never know where they're going to pop out from next. <laughs> yep, we know exactly what you mean. Oh, I love it. Now everyone can have a photo with my chickens. Your turn, Dr Panda. Smile, Dr Panda. Oh, um, okay. Like this? I look silly as a scarecrow, <clears throat> don't you think, Toto? <clears throat> you want to play? <laughs> ah, you want to build your own scarecrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's an adventure for another day. See you next time. Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Panda. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Panda. What are you going to do today? Today, I'm going to help Moo with a big pile of laundry. <laughs> Will you be washing stinky things? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. That's a funny noise, Toto. <laughs> Bubbles. <laughs> oh, hi, Moo. Dr. Pander, please come now. Oh, Let and Ziggy's washing machine is broken, so we have to do their laundry too. Oh, there is so much to do. No worries, we're on our way. Are you coming, Toto? Hi, Moo, we're ready to get to work. Oh, thank goodness you're here. I've never seen so many dirty clothes in all my life. No worries. We'll soon have it done. Good. I'll hang this laundry on the line while you put the next load into the washing machine. Great. This is the laundry soap. It makes everything clean and smell nice, but it's very powerful stuff. Only put in one capful per load. Remember, don't put in too much. I won't. Let's get this machine going, Toto. <laughs> It's supposed to do that. <laughs> and it's definitely not supposed to do that. I'd better call Hoopa. Hoopa! I think Moo's washing machine is broken! Hi, Dr. Panda. I'll come round to take a look. I'm right next door. I've just fixed June's fridge, so I've got my toolbox right here. Awesome! Thanks, Hoopa! Oh, boy! Oh, oh no! Hey, 
Easy fix, Dr. Panda. All it needs is something heavy on top to stop it from moving. <laughs> See? Mm. Oh, would that sack be heavy enough? I think so. Oh, Dr. Panda, help me get the dry laundry off the line, please, so we can hang up the new load. Sure. Koopa, can you put that sack on top of the washing machine, please? Dr. Panda? Leave it to me. has just finished. I'll put the next load in for Dr. Panda. That'll help. Oh, put that in there. Lots of this in here. Hmm. I reckon I can make the machine go faster. That'd help speed things up. Not forget to add this. A little bit more, just to be sure. <laughs> All done. I gave the washing machine a bit of a boost too, so it'll go faster now. You'll be finished in no time. Oh, that's great. Thanks, Hooper. Yeah, thanks, Hooper. Ah, what's that? I don't know. It sounds like a machine of some kind. It sounds like my washing machine. Uh, Hoopa, did you remember to put that sack back on top? Uh, no. Well, don't just stand there. Go and fix it. I'm on it. Gone mad! You have to turn it off before it wrecks the place. <laughs> How much laundry soap did you put in, Hooper? Uh, enough. This is a disaster. No worries, Moo. I'll think of something. Well, you better, otherwise my whole farm is going to be covered in bubbles. I can't even see where the machine is. The bus. <laughs> oh, that's it, Toto. I've got an idea. You have? You have? Yep, thanks to Toto. Moo, have you got those swimming goggles from your vacation? Um, yes. Hoopa, can you hand me those hoses behind you? Yep. Suds away. There. All done. <laughs> I hope Ziggy and Olet get their washing machine fixed soon. I don't want to have to do all that again. Thanks for helping out. No worries. Uh, but hang on. Wh where's Toto? <laughs> oh, you want to play dress up now, do you? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's an adventure for another day. See you next time. Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Panda. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Panda. What are you going to do today? Hi, everyone. Can you guess what I am? 
A chef? chef? Yes, but not just any chef. Pizza! Pizza! That's right, Toto. Our pizzas are always tasty and always on time. Yay! Yay! Yeah! <laughs> Here are the vegetables for our pizza toppings. Where's Bip? He said he'd help. I'm sure he's on his way. Why don't you prepare the first pizza base, Olette? I'll start on the tomato sauce. Good idea, Dr. Panda. Hi, Dr. Panda. I'd like to order a mushroom special pizza, please. <laughs> we'll get right on it. Where'd you want it delivered? No, oh, I'm close, so I'll come by to pick it up. Okay, see you soon. <sighs> Alad, our first order's in. A mushroom special for Hoopa. Oh, this is hard. Does it look round enough, Dr. Panda? Oh. Yep, looks round enough to me. Oh, I'll work on this side a little more. Hey, hey, what do you say? Who's ready to make a pizza today? Bip, you're late. Am I? So sorry. So, Dr. P, what do you want me to do? Well, um, Olette's working on the base. I'm making the tomato sauce. Maybe you could prepare the vegetables. On it, Dr. P. <laughs> Done! Looking good, Olette. Step aside. Perfecto. Really, Bip, you need to take this more seriously. What's wrong with a bit of fun? Hi, Ziggy. Hello, Dr. Panda. I'd like to order two pizzas, please. The Veggie Feast and the Mushroom Special. One Veggie Feast and one Mushroom Special coming right up. You know our motto. Our pizzas are always tasty and always on time. Ooh, what if the pizzas are late? Do I get them for free? <laughs> oh, they won't be late. Hey, <laughs> then we have a deal. See you soon, Dr. Panda, and don't be late. <laughs> Two pizzas for Ziggy, and they have to be delivered on time. Then we'll have to move fast. That's what I'm good at. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm here for my pizza. Perfect timing, Hoopa. Let me slice it up for you. Oh. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> oh, that was delicious. Pizza perfection! Thanks for a great pizza. See you next time. Bye, Bye Hoopa. Okay, let's get Ziggy's pizzas ready for the oven. Uh, oh, yeah, right. Ziggy's pizzas. Uh. Oh, hi, Richie. Hello, Dr. Panda. I'd like a pizza, please. One with olives. Not green olives. I don't like them. Black olives. Precisely five of them. And some peppers. Green, not red, but they can't touch the olives. Also, I want four slices of tomato, but cut in half to go on top of the green peppers. Got it. Another pizza? Oh, but I haven't even finished Ziggy's pizzas yet. Hey, not a pizza problem. Why make two when you can make three? Okay, uh... You take this pizza base, it's the most round, and start on Richie's pizza. I'll make a new pizza base for Ziggy's order. Black olives, not green. Okay. Oh, no, no. Uh, Richie wants exactly five olives, remember? Yeah. <sighs> not quite round yet. <sighs> Four slices of tomato. Cut in half, remember, and on top of the peppers. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Finally done. Now all we have to do is wait. Yeah. <gasps> Dr. Panda! What's that smell? <gasps> Look! The oven was on too high! And now the pizzas are burnt! Aww. No worries. We'll quickly do them again. Uh, I have to make Richie's pizza again? Oh, boring. 
I'll never make it on time. It takes me ages to get the pizza bases perfectly round. Oh. Hey, what if you two switch roles? Bip, you could use your juggling skills for the pizza base. And, Alette, you're very precise. You could put the vegetables on the pizza exactly as Richie wants. If everybody does what they're good at, we'll be a lot quicker and have more fun at the same time. That is a great, great idea. idea. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get going. Somebody order a pizza? <gasps> but this pizza is all wrong. Oh, hang on. <sighs> ah, that's my pizza. Enjoy. We gotta go. Thanks. Bye. Hurry. Five, four, three, two, one. Too late. I get the pizzas for free. Huh? Nah, just kidding. You were right on time. Would you like a slice? I probably ordered more than I can eat. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ziggy. Oh, let me call Alette to join us. Mmm, that's a very tasty pizza. And on time. And perfectly round. And we made it together. <laughs> oh, you want to ride the bike? Well, that's an adventure for another day. Bye, everyone. Goodbye, Dr. Panda. Bye-bye. Hi, Dr. Panda. What are you going to do today? Dr. Panda? Hello? Dr. Dr. Panda. Panda? Where could he be? <laughs> coming! Coming! I'm here. Hi, everyone. Whew. Can you guess what job I'm doing today? <laughs> You're a mailman. That's right. Today, I'm... The first rule of being a mailman is never be late. Oh, hi, Richie. You're right. I'm sorry. My alarm clock is broken, and it didn't wake me up. Why didn't you order a new one? I did. And it was supposed to come in the mail a week ago, but it still hasn't been delivered. Well, okay. Let's get to work. I have all this mail to sort, and you have to make your round. As long as nothing else goes wrong today, we should be A-OK. -okay. Uh-oh. <gasps> <gasps> A bit of help, please? <sighs> this is bad. This is really bad. What's the matter? This package has been stuck in the machine, and now it's been labeled with every address. And these packages didn't get labeled at all. So how will we ever know who this mail is for? You have to deliver these packages today! The important thing is not to panic. Too late for that! I'm already panicking! What do we do? Hmm. Well, we have all the addresses, so we know who is expecting deliveries. Now we just have to work out which package belongs to whom. Maybe we can open the mail to see if there are any clues inside. No! The second rule of being a mailman is never, ever open the packages yourself. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Um, hmm. Let's see what we know. It says on here that this package came from Baboon Building Supplies. Aha! Uh -huh. So, who do we know in Panda City that likes to build things? I think I know who ordered this package. Oh, oh boy. Oh, hi, guys. Hey, Hoopa, did you order something from Baboon Building Supplies? My bricks. <laughs> Let me help you. Yay! Is it okay if I take this? Sure, no problem. Thanks, Dr. Panda. What a great service. <gasps> Look, Toto, Moo's name is on one of the labels. She must have ordered something. Let's go. Moo! Moo-hoo! Are you home? I have this package.
sandwich for you, but I don't know which. <laughs> hey, chickens! Hey, chickens! <laughs> they can smell the food I ordered for them. Ah, so that's why they were chasing me. Maybe we can use the chicken's excellent sense of smell to work out which package is yours. <laughs> this must be the one. <laughs> Corn, their favorite. Great job, guys. Ah, glad to help. Okay, Toto, only three more packages to go. And look, one of these is for Olette. Hello, Dr. Panda. Do you have my package? I'm sure I do, but I don't know which one it is. Something went wrong at the sorting office and some packages weren't labeled correctly. Oh, no. I have to practice for my basketball game, but I can't do that without the ball I ordered. Oh, <laughs> I think I know which one is your package. Oh, this one. No, uh... Don't you think the ball is in the round package? Oh, not the square one. No, not the square one. <laughs> my ball! Great! You want to stay for a game? Oh, maybe later. We still have two more packages to deliver. One of them is for May May. Hi, Dr. Panda. Oh, what have you got for me? Hi, May May. One of these is yours, but I don't know which one. Do you remember what you ordered? Oh, Dr. Panda, it could be anything. A new dress, a nice warm sweater, a scarf. Whatever's in this package is hard. It feels wooden. This feels much softer. Oh, and all the things you mentioned are soft as well. Yes, you're right. I guess this must be your package then. Oh, wow, my coat. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> it looks great on you. Thanks, Dr. Panda. Well, that just leaves this package. But I can't read the last label. Hmm. Maybe if I carefully peel off the other address label, I can find out who this last package is for. Oh, oh no! I ripped it! <gasps> what will you do? Uh, I guess we'll have to take it back to Richie and tell him the bad news. Dr. Panda, did you manage to deliver all the packages? Uh, all except one. I accidentally ripped the last label. What? That means we'll never have it delivered on time. <gasps> Tick tock. What is it, Toto? Tick tock. Of course. I know who this is for. Hey, what are you doing? Remember the second rule. Never open the mail yourself. <laughs> but this final package is for me. It's the new alarm clock you ordered. That's right. Well, let's hope it wakes you up in time for your next job. We'll have to find out about that another day. See you next time. Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Dr. Panda. Bye-bye. What are you going to do today? Oh, I know. You're a police officer. <laughs> Almost. Today, I'm a traffic director. Oh, that sounds very important. Yep. It is important. Traffic directors make sure cars, trucks, and people drive safely along the road. Yay! And here's something to help me. <whistles> oh, hi, Toto. Do you want to practice the special traffic signals with me? Okay, let's see. Ahem. Stop, listen, look, and go. <laughs> awesome. Oh, and now it's time for us to go. Hey, Toto, do you remember the special traffic signals? Stop. Stop. Listen. Listen. Look. Go. Go. Hey, watch this. Huh? Yay. Wow. Whoa. See you guys. Bye, Bib. Your turn, Hoopa. 
I'll see you on the way back. I'm just off to pick up some bricks. Great. See you later. Uh-oh! Oh, what's going on? I tell you what's going on. My chickens are everywhere. That's what's going on. Moo! Uh, I think we have a bit of a problem here. Moo! My poor chickens! This is terrible, Dr. Panda. You'll have to help me round them up. I'm happy to help, Moo, but someone needs to look after the crossing. Oh, I can take care of that. Thanks, May May, but you don't know the special traffic signals. You can teach me. How hard can it be? Hurry, Dr. Panda! We need to get my chickens back! Okay, here we go. You need to use stop, listen, look, and go. I've got it. Come on, Dr. Panda! My chickens won't catch themselves! Are you sure you'll be all right, May May? Toto will stay here with you to help. He knows the special traffic signals, too. Yep, don't worry. I'll be fine. Dr. Panda! <laughs> don't forget those signals! Dr. Panda! Let's see. What was stop? I remember stop, listen, Look and go. Perfect. Now a bit faster. Stop, listen, look and go. Stop, listen, look and go. <gasps> it's almost like a dance. <gasps> hey, that's an idea. A dance. What is she doing? Am I supposed to go or, or stop? Go! I don't know. What's going on here? That doesn't look like what Dr. Panda was doing. Go! No, wait, stop! Uh-oh. That's all of the moo. I need to get back to being a traffic director. Whoa, a traffic jam! And a great big mess! How will we ever fix this? Oh. I dropped my load. I'm sorry, Dr. Panda. I don't know how this happened. I do. May May made all the wrong moves. Instead of this, she did this. No, no, no. It was more like this. <laughs> That's nothing like it. It was like this. You mean like this? <laughs> uh, no, I think it was more like this. Oh, I see. So you turned directing traffic into a dance. Mm hmm. Sorry. I guess I got carried away. And you made Hooper spill all his bricks. It's going to take ages to sort this out. Not if we all help. And I know exactly how to speed things up. May May, you're going to have to teach us how to do your dance properly. <laughs> Ready, everyone? A one, two, three, four. Thanks, Dr. 
Dr. Panda. No, thank you. That was fun, wasn't it, Toto? <laughs> yeah! I guess it's time for me to go, too. <laughs> Bye, Maymay. Wow, Toto, that's an awesome move. You'd like to do more dancing? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's an adventure for another day. See you next time, everyone. Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Panda. Bye-bye. <laughs> hi, Dr. Panda. What are you going to do today? Oh, hi, everyone. Today, I'm in a museum. Wow. Look, we keep all kinds of objects from a very long time ago and show them to our visitors. Like over here, we have a... Huh? Dr. Panda, have you seen Hoopa? No. He was supposed to bring us the most important piece of our show. The piece that goes here? Exactly. Here's your delivery, guys. What's in here, anyway? It doesn't say on the box. <gasps> a dinosaur. Hmm? But dinosaurs are really big. How would that ever fit inside this box? <gasps> it's broken! No, Hoopa. It's a dinosaur skeleton, and we'll have to assemble it ourselves. Oh. Oh. Well, I can't wait to see it when it's finished. Gotta go. Bye, Hoopa. This must be a leg bone. Or is it the tail? I don't know, but I'm sure there are instructions. Let's empty the box. Hmm, nope. No instructions. This is terrible. We can't just show our visitors a, a pile of bones. Hold on, Richie. Maybe we can put it together ourselves. Without instructions? It doesn't hurt to try. Hmm. Ha! See? Hey! It's like a puzzle! I'm good at puzzles. And this piece must be a claw. Hmm. Only one claw? Ah, there. Uh, I don't think it's supposed to look like that. No? Oh, we're never going to get this right without the instructions. No worries, Richie. I'm sure there's something we can do. Dr. Panda! Dr. Panda! Done! Huh? <laughs> Pencil! Done! Oh, you finished your puzzle, have you? Let me see. Oh, that's a funny horse, Toto. The head is where the tail should be. Huh? <laughs> see? Oh, <gasps> that's it! Richie! If we know what the dinosaur looks like, we'll have a much better idea of how to put the skeleton together. But there wasn't a picture on the box. We don't even know what this dinosaur is called. Well, we're in a museum. There must be books in the museum library that can help. I'll go get some right away. Hi, Olette. Oh, hello, Dr. Panda. What can I do for you? Do you have a book on dinosaurs? Of course. We have lots. Oh, good. We need your help. It's a dinosaur emergency. Give me all the books on dinosaurs you have, and I'll take them to the main hall. The books aren't allowed to leave this room, I'm afraid. They're very old, and it would be sad if they got lost or damaged. Aw, uh, okay. Hmm. I could use my tablet to send Richie pictures of the dinosaurs. Olette, how many books have you got? Oh. Hello? Dr. Panda, have you found any pictures of dinosaurs? Uh, yep. Quite a lot. Never mind, Dr. Panda. I've put it together. It's a... Giraffosaurus. What about the spiky bit? I thought it was a claw. Uh, it's a spiky knee, Giraffosaurus. I'll just look for a dinosaur with a long neck. Okay. Lots of dinosaurs with a long neck, but none of them have spiky knees. No, no, no.
Richie? Dr. Panda, I realized what that spiky bit is. It's a fin. A fin? Yes, like a shark's fin, but for a dinosaur. Oh, okay. I'll look for a picture that looks like this. Lots of swimming dinosaurs with a long neck, but none of them have a tiny shark fin. Dr. Panda, I've got it now. See, I made a mistake. The neck bones were actually tail bones. It's a T-Rex. <gasps> so where does the spiky bone go? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe it's a tooth. <laughs> there! Oh, all done! <laughs> Hoopa, have you found the instructions? Better than that, Richie. I was driving my truck, and I heard a rattling sound. And then I looked, and I found... more bones! Ah! No! I told everyone about the dinosaur. They can't wait to see it. Have fun putting it together. Bye! Bye-bye! Oh, Dr. Panda, we'll never get this right. Don't give up, Richie. I'll keep looking in these books. Hmm. Now, what is that spiky bone? Oh, that's it! We'll never know what this dinosaur is called. No, Richie! Look! <gasps> that spiky bone is its nose! What's it called? Welcome, everyone, to the unveiling of our new Centrosaurus! Whoa. Oh, yes! Whoa. A Centrosaurus. Whoa, it's awesome! That's impressive! It sure is! Wow! What an amazing animal! <sighs> Have you finished your puzzle yet, Toto? <laughs> Horsey! Horsey! Aw, you want to play horsey, huh? Well, that's an adventure for another day. Bye, everyone. Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Dr. Panda. Bye-bye. <laughs>